everybody, Octoboy Morris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mario Party 3. In the last episode, we defeated Yoshi and got the Kindness Star Stamp. And in this part, we're going to be battling for the Strength Star Stamp. And we'll play on this map, which is... Spiny Desert with the two difficulties, Shifting Sands and Burning Sun. Now let's meet the challengers. Wario, Peach, and Mario. Same as last time. Let me tell you right now, I lost the first time I played this map. Hilariously. I'm by... If you guys want me to, I might upload my hilarious failure at the end of it, but only if I get a comment telling me to do so. Because I will upload it if you really want to see it, because it was fucking terrible, and I raged so hard. Uh, you know, just, to, just in case, let's get on with it. I've been waiting for you, DK. Welcome to the legendary Spiny Desert. This land of burning sun, you'll better become the superstar. And if you win, you get the spring star stamp. Before we begin, we must assign the turn order. Let's see what we get. A four. Uh, I guess that's fine. I went last last time. So third is a step up, to be perfectly blunt. Fourth is Peach. Ah, ten coins. What the best part of my day. Because what's a monkey with money besides the spend it on bananas? Well, we need stars, because stars are also yellow. <laughs> There are plenty of gimmicks also in this place too. If you and there are a lot of dual game opportunities in the last five turns. You'll see what I mean after a while. And another gimmick for this is there's two Millennium Stars as you saw there. One of them's just a Mirage and one of them's a real one. Pass the real one to get yourself ten coins. I mean, pass the real one to get yourself a star. Why did I say ten coins? I'm still on ten coin kick. Uh, still on ten coin kick. So, in order to get the happening star in this game, you have to land on those little happening spaces. And that's gonna happen a lot, to be perfectly honest. You're gonna have to keep track of the happening spaces because... I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the happening star. Maybe I'll come down to that or something? I don't really know. Through the whole game of my last playthrough of this, Peach got a bank card. A bank card is a new item I haven't showed off yet. It's one of special items you can get. A special item you can get from a, uh... Let's get this Bowser suit. Sweet. A special item you can get from, uh... Uh, landing on an item space and answering a question perfect. You get a rare item. Uh, there are two rare items, I believe. There's a banking space. Oh, three, actually. There's a five-turn stopwatch that completely restarts the five turns. A um, card where you can go into the bank and withdraw all the money from it, no matter no matter if you pass it or land on it. And the last one is a game guy coin, where you can instantly summon game guy. So, now that that's all done, let's begin Toadstool's Titan and begin the giantest monkey of all. King Kong, I'm gonna capture your princess, bitch. Oh, and it's even my block, and let's get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's look around and inhale stars. <laughs> all three. Oh, I thought I got all three. I was gonna be so happy right there. Peach, come here, you stupid bitch. I didn't even get the princess like I said I would. And let's steal it from her. I didn't even steal it. Oh, are they smart enough to run in front of you? I don't even know because my oh, <laughs> Jim, oh shit. I thought you only get three hits on the wall before you get it. Oh, and I actually jumped on top of her this time. As you can hear, I'm home alone, so I'm gonna be kind of loud during the first couple times. She jumped over me! I've never seen somebody jump over me. So I got the mushroom this time, so screw you, Peach, I'm going home. Actually, I'm gonna rape you, so come here. I know where you're going! What?! Oh, come on! That's a load, man! She just keeps avoiding them in the most stupid way. Well, at least I got this one. Hopefully I can ram into her this time. Let's predict her movements! Alright, just roam in the corner, I guess. That works. DK wins! Whew, sweet! So, I'm tied for first right now. So everybody's got their happy face and peace signs. That could be seen as a gang sign in school, so... Whatever, throw that Because everything in school is a gang sign. Everything in Google. Oh, guys, please don't land on the question mark space. I want to at least get some of you... Never mind, you got a question mark. This is what the question mark spaces do in this game. They take you in these little um, sand whirlpools and spit you out at the other end. Why I don't say quicksand is because it kind of goes down in the middle like a whirlpool. So, I guess let's keep going. Hopefully I can land where they are. Yep, sweet. Whoa, so that's one happening space for me and Mario, so that's good. And this is why I said there's a lot of dual maps, because after you get spurred off into the other side, it kind of counts as being, um, kind of counts as being on the same space and you instantly get a dual game. What is she gonna get? A skeleton key? I guess that's nice. I want to steal all the coins away from Mario and Wario here. So, let's see what the next minigame is. Picture Imperfect! Another one of the fun games. Oh. Let's, uh, begin again. Well, we did it last time. Is it Mario? 
It is Mario. I like the Mario one, even though there's five different spots you have to get right. Hopefully I can do it. Hopefully I have timing. So let's get the Mario. It's right after the X. Right, there we go. And this one's right after the two nose holes. Or I can just fuck it up. Yeah, I got his mustache right. Fuck. Get his eyes right! Damn it! Uh, I think Wario might have won, maybe. Yeah, what? Mario won. Well, of course Mario won. He's Mario. He got the eyes and the mustache, but Mario got the eyes and the must... Eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Hmm, that's weird. Eh, I guess it's a little off. Of course Mario's gonna get his own face, right? See, he even shows us his face. Wario, start! 6-5. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? He's gonna go down. Alright. Get a lower roll, get a three. Yeah, he got a three! <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna use my Bowser mask, because the Bowser mask hasn't been shown off yet. If you use the Bowser mask and pass somebody, you get 20 coins from it. Great! And if you pass Baby Bowser, well, nah, this is... <laughs> the, why am I saying if you pass Baby Bowser? I'm talking like an old game. 7-6. Ah, 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 Bowser. Mistook you for Bowser, even with Donkey Kong's head. Because that makes sense. Um, there's nothing in the bank. And Millennium Star is down there. So I'm going to show you the way to get to that Millennium Star without using the Skeleton Gate. Because you kind of need one to get over there. So let's go down, land on the bank, and immediately not get anything. Because there's no coins in the bank. Hooray, congratulations. Oh, that's embarrassing. We don't have shit. One. Oh, it's all of them versus me. It's uh, Donkey Kong Pilgrim versus the world. Thwomp Pole, son of a bitch. You've already seen Thwomp Pole two times in this damn game. So, yeah, there were a lot of games I unlocked in the last game that, uh, I'm actually, I'm going to tell you about them if I get them. And I'll tell you about them anyway, even if I don't get them. So let's go A, hopefully I don't screw up, A, B, Z, Z, A, B, A, B, Z, Z, a Z, you dumb shit. B, you dumb, I don't even, I can't even pay attention. Z, A, B. Z, 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 A, Z, yeah, they're gonna win again. I never do good just being the one person here, jeez. Get hit by a snowball, please. Son of a biscuit, I lost by two. Well, probably two, I'm not sure. Well, that's an interesting pair of people. Uh, am I still shaking my fist in the air? I am, which is good. Woohoo! All right, let's go, Oreo. Let's see what you can get. A four. Oh, come on. Well, they're both sent back, which is good. Hopefully that star by where the arrows were pointing, like I showed you before, is actually where the star is. If it's in the top left corner, they're probably gonna... Never mind. <laughs> they're just gonna keep swapping spaces. I hope... Yeah, because I remember when I was little, I used to stay in these two circles for the whole map, and my cousins would laugh the shit at me, which was kind of terrible. <laughs> So I got a uh, two. Let's see what Peach gets. Ten. Uh, is she gonna land on anything? Maybe if she goes up here, is she gonna use it? Well, is the star over there? No, it's not. Why did she do? Oh, yeah, because the trick to getting the stars up here, which the computer players exploit to hell. I'm very serious. They exploit this trick to getting the star to hell. Um, two versus two, me and Wario. Not too bad. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a new game, Hyper Hydrants. Hyper Hydrants is a fun little game. Let's see which one I'm on. Am I on the hose or spraying the fuck? Am I on the hose or um, the pump? I'm on, oh, I have the hose. This is how this game works. You try to uh, extinguish potaboos and press A completely to spray outwards. Never use the spray outwards unless there's a bunch of them in front of you. Just keep using the um, long hose to get rid of them. You just gotta have good aim. Your partner needs to have good rhythm to win this game. This is why only pretty much uh, only pretty much computer partners working the pump is good. Because I've never met a friend who can beat two computers using the pump. If you can, if you show me you using the pump and still winning against two hard computers, call, post a video response and I'll be very, very impressed. You'll be my best friend. Uh, are we winning? We're tied. Yeah. Well, we were tied at the time. I don't even see it anymore because I'm too busy focusing. So, come on. Yeah, I got that one. Come on, let's keep going. Keep going. Thank you for being... Thank you for being very consistent in your vials, Wario. Keep spraying. Let's get that one. 
and we didn't get it. Oh, we still got 16! Sweet! We demolished! Ah, the best! I wonder why Wario's not competing for the Strength Star Stamp. As I said in the last part, it's... Oh my god, it's... <laughs> when you play as Donkey Kong and get the Strength Star Stamp, I like who's at the door when... Who's fighting you for the Strength Star Stamp. And don't spoil anything, anybody. Let's just see what happens. You get in the red space just for fun, Wario? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm up before Peach. Hopefully I can get there before she gets it. And hopefully it's not even the real Millennium Star. Apparently they know what it is. I don't. Am I going to get the Millennium Star anyway? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Oh, uh, what am I going to get? A magic Lamp? Definitely! Whenever you get a Magic Lamp, take it. That's my fault. Five, four, three. I might just be able to make it. See, the trick is these cactuses here. You, what you're supposed to do with an action time, you have to jump over the cactuses, but to get over there, you kind of want to hit the first cactus, because it's going to send you to this little ball, so this little circle here by this cactus, and I'll get to move my two spaces over to the left to get the fake one! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, it's fine, I'll just use my... That's why I got it! That's why I got the magic lamp, ladies and gentlemen. Now, she knows it's not the real one, she's just actually going to jump over these. A smart ass. Oh, and get a chance time. We haven't seen a chance time yet. Oh, sweet. I love chance time. And oddly enough, the, you'd think the toad in the middle would stay, but no, it's the toad on the left in the top corner. <laughs> well, let's see. Everybody knows what chance time is. It's this piece of shit that completely ruins the game. Oh, 20 coins. Who's giving away 20 coins? It's Mario. Please be me. Please be me. Please be me. Or computers could have great, great timing that people don't have. And Proton John does. So, she has 40 coins. Nothing too bad. Yeah! <laughs> Stupid bitch! So, all of us versus Wario, huh? Oh, it's a new game! Ridiculous Relay! I love Ridiculous Relay! My favorite thing to be on is the bullet bill in... Well... <laughs> I'll tell you about Ridiculous Relay first before I get into how to do it. Everyone has a different vehicle in this race. It's a three-on-one Racky Relay. Um, Oreo is going to be on a hang glider. All he has to do is move up and down and move speed. Uh, Peach has the oar, has the uh, paddle boat. He, she has to paddle left and right using the oar. And I have my worst one. It's the, like, Mecha Spider. You have to go up, up A, down A, up B, down B, and repeat to keep proceeding. Mario just has to press A in his bullet bill. That's my favorite, the bullet bill, because you just have to go A. And you would have think, Wario's going to be super speedy. What's going to slow him down? Well, those are going to slow him down. <laughs> the bullet bills and the paragoombas in his way. So hopefully he gets hit. It doesn't look like he's going to get hit a lot. So hopefully I don't screw up my duty. Because I hate when I have a really bad partner in this Ridiculous Relay. So you know, I don't even intentionally call it by its name. I just call it Ridiculous Relay. I call it a Ridiculous Relay. Come on. I'm totally doing it right. I'm totally doing it right. You just not counting me because you hate me, game. Uh, this is going well, I think. <laughs> uh, as soon as I say that, I screw up. Uh, is that it? I think that's the last one. Yep, all good. Let's go, Mario! Press A as fast as lightning! Come on, Mario! Everybody was Mario partying! Da -da 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 Mario was fast as lightning. Oh, come on, Wario stiffs! Wait, yeah, Wario still won. Son of a biscuit. Oh, uh, you are the gay. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, this, is, this is going by pretty fast if I do say so myself. No battle games or anything yet? And watch as soon as I say that. <laughs> Last ten turns, really, wow. It's been five turns already, that's pretty good. Let's see what kind of item he gets. I don't really want to watch the item in game unless I get them. Uh, Lucky Lamp. Oh, fuck. Well, to tell you the truth, the fun thing about the Lucky Lamp is, in this game, in this, uh, board, is it shows you where the real one is. She goes after the real one. Uh, Mario's gonna get the Happening Star by the looks of it. I think so. So... Wait, where is, is the star? Want it? Waste my time? Um, actually, I don't think I'm gonna waste it just yet. I think I can make it. Let's see what you have to offer, though. Um, Boo Bell time. 
Who doesn't love a good bluebell? I have two good items. Hopefully somebody doesn't plunder it away from me. The thing I didn't understand why Peach didn't do was... Action time, let's go. Jump over the first one and just hit the second one. Because <laughs> the second one's going to take you into the top left corner here. Yeah, she could have gotten a lot farther. I guess she really wanted that chance time. So as soon as I start the next turn, I'm probably just going to use my magic lamp right away. What does she get? Mushroom. I guess that's fine. yoo ho yeah. Actually, I think I might just might keep these if I win. Yeah, I might keep it if I win. Treadmill Grill. We already see Treadmill Grill. Wait, have we? Maybe not, actually. All you have to do is punch people off this damn grill that's moving uh, different ways, depending on which, uh, which treadmill you're standing on. So, let's see which way this one's going. You kind of want to punch the other guys into another treadmill or into a potaboo that's going to be in the way a little bit. The best thing to do is just ground pound on somebody, squish them, and send them send them really still. That only works if there's a potaboo right by them. Well, Mario just totally punched me off the edge. I tried to jump. I don't know why. I guess you can't jump while in punch recoil. Eh, what are you going to do? When they come for you. Bad boys, bad boys. Well, at least I'm in third. And I, oh yeah, I kind of didn't get enough coins. Eh, I guess I do have to use my blue bell. Oh, you motherfucker! God damn it, Wario. You little bitch. Oh, and oh, this is what this thing does. It sends out Genie. Yeah, her name is Genie, like the television show. She's going to send the real Millennium Star away saying, Fungus Pocus! And I might have lied about this because she's actually moving the real one and the fake one. Yeah, so she's creating another fake one. That kind of sucks. I hope the one we didn't just pass is the real because that would be that would make me look kind of stupid for passing it up. Uh, 976. Yeah. Well, Wario's gonna get it anyway, so whatever. Five, four, three. Yeah, Wario's gonna get it. Whatever. Hopefully. Well, I guess they're pretty good at the action commands, anyway. Oh, it's not the real one! Sweet! So, it's up at the top left corner. So, I don't have to worry right now unless Peach gets a, um, a double roll. You know, just to be safe, I'm probably just gonna steal from Peach on the next turn. So, let's steal from Peach! Yay, boo! Sad thing about the Boo Bell is you have to pay in this game. I said that before, I just thought I'd say it again. What did he say? <laughs> I wish I read what he said because the Boo has emotions in this game. It tells you, oh, I think I'm gonna do really bad. He's, he's like totally emo, or he's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get tons of coins. I'm not sure if it affects anything for real because he says, oh, I'm gonna get a lot of coins. When uh, like one of my opponents had like 50 and I only got like 10 coins. Oh, right. Well, at least I'm in the... At least I'm in the rankings for at least getting the Happening Star now. And if Peach doesn't get this, I'm just gonna steal it from right under her nose. I knew she was gonna get the Mushroom, which is why I wanted to steal enough coins to get it... To get rid of it. But no, she made it. Son of a bitch. Oh wait, she gets the bank! Ha ha ha! Sweet! Uh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, you... Ah, uh, uh, oh, she doesn't even have enough spaces. I need to pay attention. Yeah, now, now she's in the running. <laughs> Let's see what this mini game is. Uh, what is it? Pipe cleaners. Yeah, pipe, pipe cleaners is fun. Let's see what we do. Let's see if we can win. Baby Bowsers. Let's see if we win against these baby Bowsers. Go. I didn't want to mind pop out that fast. Whoa! Oh, you son of a bitch. That was, I didn't have enough reaction time. I did not have enough reaction time for those two. The load. Whoa. Oh, I totally got that one sweet. Whoa! Shit, I'm missing I'm missing left and right now. Where <laughs> Doggy Guy's got just such a serious face when he's facing you, but look at him when he's just bopping baby Bowser's. He's got the he's got the happiest face ever. So I missed like five. Hopefully that's not enough to lose. Um. Duh, I still win. Sweet. Woo! All right. Results. Gold screen time. 
That's not too bad. What turn are we at? Let's see. Oh, come on, Wario! Let me see what turn it is. <laughs> or let me hit my um, Donkey Kong button. We're turn 8, so we're halfway through. So I think I'm going to end it here. So, alright. Next time, we're going to be finishing up Spiny Desert. Hopefully, in the next episode. So, I'm Tom Walrus, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.